<laughs> Whoever came up with whoopee cushions must Dude, have been a fucking a, a good guy, like a, a a fucked up prankster, dude. Yeah, well, it's funny because it's like, you know, this show makes too much money. Yes. And it's like, wow, this is weird. And it kind of puts you in like a weird, like, you know, it makes you feel weird. Mm -hmm. But then I think about stuff like that. And it's like, that guy probably has so much money. It's like, it's not even... He didn't do anything. Yeah, there he was did. already. He had one dumbass idea for yeah. a second. I know, but it's like balloons already existed. That's true. He's like, what if there was just? But it, all it did was you, you put it on his, because they don't work either. Yeah, they stop working about four. They four never soon. work. You have to sit directly on it. If you put it under a cushion, it won't work. I remember trying to prank people with a whoopee cushion when I was a kid. You do you put it under the chair and you, or you wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they just sit on the chair and nothing happens. <laughs> And you're like, well, this is fucking this fucking sucks. This is stupid. And then you make them just sit on it. It would, not, it would just never work. I tried hiding that fucking thing everywhere under the carpet. Mm. You know, be like, hey, mom, come in here. She'd be like, no. Be like, can you <laughs> please, please? I like, never ask anything. Please, yeah. can you please come in here? I'm like, can you stand on that lump? <laughs> <laughs> please, you're gonna it's, you're gonna be such a fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. You're gonna accidentally fart. Does nothing. Be like, you farted, you you piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Fuck you. You, you dumb fucking bitch. farted, you dumb. Yeah, bitch. Nice job farting, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what did you fucking fart, you <laughs> idiot? You're so you stupid. You fucking stupid you're piece fucking, of shit. You're stupid. Go back to supporting I'm my glad, life. I'm glad you got a divorce. <laughs> I'm glad you're go being, go back to drinking in the kitchen, I'm bitch. But alone, I'm glad you're ha you're experiencing a divorce right now. <laughs> fucking farting, <laughs> fucking farting ass, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you wanted it to work, but it, it just didn't work like that. <laughs> that's how you wanted it to go of down. Course. All you wanted was for that to happen, for you to say those things <laughs> uninterrupted. <laughs> For about seven minutes, just tee off on your recently <laughs> divorced mother. Just to fuck her ass up you, for farting. And she's like, I guess I probably did fart. You gaslight her. Ga <laughs> gaslight your mom with the whoopee cushion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make her rethink some things. <laughs> that is the problem with whoopee cushions, man. Uh-huh. That whole thing we just said. Yeah, she's like, I don't think I farted. You're like, well, maybe it came from your pussy. <laughs> your divorced pussy. <laughs> How do you even... You're, you're six years old. How do you know these things? How do you even Shut know... Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, or I'm going to tell the fucking... The arbitrator that you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Admit you farted I'm, out of your pussy. Gonna, or I'm going to tell them I'm you gonna, hit me. I'm going to sign an affidavit. <laughs> I'm going to find an, a file in America's brief. A friend of the court that says that you beat me. I've got it in my prankster kit. He I got came right, next, came right the, next to the whoopee cushion. He came with the whoopee cushion. His affidavit is <laughs> already signed and notarized and that child, your parents beat you. And a child abuse. <laughs> Affidavit. Make your parents' divorce worse with the, the with the sneaky devil prankster kid. There's a whoopee cushion and a signed affidavit declaring that in, whether you put your mom or your dad's name in here so that it says they beat you. <laughs> buy the special molestation add-on that like, comes with a, bu a hand buzzer. Just like Harriet the Spy. <laughs> And use these doctored photos of your dad getting a blowjob from the babysitter. Just cut and paste your dad's face. Just get a picture of your dad with the included Polaroid camera and paste his... Use the double-sided tape to paste your dad's face. And then use these pre-stamped pre envelopes to mail them to your mom. What does, <laughs> with a note that says just felt like you should know just wanted to trick do pranks to your parents <laughs> kids only kids only only kids allowed. parents if you're in the room walk out right parents now. are not allowed to watch this commercial <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude
<laughs> That's a good product. A little pranks, that little devil prankster kit. Uh huh. <clears throat> it's a suction cup to put hickeys on your mom's neck <laughs> while she's asleep <laughs> before your dad gets home. <laughs> and this is just a little cocaine to put in her coffee so she, she puts, fails her drug test. So puts in, she gets fired <laughs> from her secretary job. And then she won't be able to support you. You'll get to live in an orphanage you with get a bunch of cool kids. Just boys only. <laughs> Playing Genesis all day long. <laughs> Doesn't so, that sound great? Doesn't that sound cool? There's Sega Saturn at the <laughs> orphanage. <laughs> it's just, it's just a, a product of, um, of the guy who owns the orphanage that molests <laughs> children created. <laughs> they just have it overrun with young, mischievous <laughs> boys. <laughs> you can. Now, the coolest, Made by Haim Saban. The coolest prank. Now, introducing the fake. Uh, uh, the fake mammogram results (laughs) (laughs) collection (laughs) you can sneak into your mom's at the doctor sneak into your mom's you can make her think she has breast cancer (laughs) and then a note from your dad that says that's why he left (laughs) it's because he doesn't want he already knew the idea of your mom's breast being sick disgusts him (laughs) It's disgusting. <laughs> All of that and more in the deluxe little pranksters the, 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 kid. The, 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 <laughs> prank helping kids be the baddest boys. <laughs> the kids only. The parents no not allowed. No one watch. Parents don't watch. <laughs> it's a vault. There's a vault with a combination <laughs> lock on the outside. <laughs> only kids know the it combination. It says kids rule. Riddlins. You have to be on Riddlin to use this. <laughs> yeah. Tell your mom you're gonna keep setting fires in this school trash can until you get. If you don't get this. If you don't kit. get this kit and a sweet prescription to Ritalin, <laughs> that you need Ritalin every day. Every day you need Ritalin medicine and the prankster kit. <laughs> oh fuck! Did you ever? They ever put you on that shit, my man? Nah. Really? Oh, yeah, my mom was like an anti-vaxxer, dude. Nice. I wasn't on shit. But they wanted to, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, he is severely retarded. They wanted to zonk your my ass mom's, out. My mom's like, I have breast cancer and my pussy won't stop farting. <laughs> I don't need this right I know. Now. I can't listen to this. I, every week I get a new picture of my ex-husband uh, getting a blowjob. <laughs> 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 a blowjob. <laughs> So he he mailed, Child Protective Services he, keeps observing me for mailing, some reason. Yeah, mailing them to me. And there's just signed <laughs> affidavit. And just signed affidavit. <laughs> just don't put him on any drugs, no, okay? No more riddling. 